What are the treatments? When your doctor is satisfied that he has identified your allergens, he can help you to plan to avoid them if possible. If it's impossible to avoid them altogether, you may need oral medications, eye drops, or a nasal spray to control your symptoms. Medications for allergic rhinitis include the following. Nasal corticosteroids. Corticosteroid nasal sprays are usually prescribed because they tend to be the most effective method of controlling symptoms. Common corticosteroids include beclomethazone or beconase, triamcinolone or nasacort, fluticasone propionate or flonase, flunicilide or nasoral, budesonide or rhinocort, and mometasone or nasonex. These take several days to start clearing symptoms. Usually, nasal corticosteroids are safe to use for prolonged periods. Most nasal steroids do not stunt childhood growth or reduce bone density, unlike inhaled or oral steroids, but doctors do try to prescribe the lowest dose possible because of risks associated with steroids. You might experience mild side effects such as irritation, a crusty bleeding nose, a bad taste or smell. The bleeding nose might be worse in the winter, but you can relieve it by applying petroleum jelly inside your nostrils before using the nasal steroid, using a water-based nasal steroid rather than an alcohol-based, or using a saline nasal spray to restore moisture. Antihistamines. Antihistamines in the form of oral medication or nasal sprays can reduce sneezing, itching, and nasal symptoms. They block histamine which is one of the chemicals released in response to allergens. You can buy oral antihistamines over the counter, and common ones include chlorpheniramine or chlorotrimetum, clemestine or tavist, and diphenhydramine or Benadryl. Sleepiness can be a side effect of these medications, so it is wise not to take them before using machinery or driving. There are newer antihistamines available over the counter such as loratadine or claritin, which are less likely to cause drowsiness. Other prescription-only non-sedating oral antihistamines include fexafenidine or Allegra and cetirizine or Zyrtec. Azolastine or Acetylene is a prescription antihistamine nasal spray that causes drowsiness, although it is effective for allergic rhinitis. Decongestants. Decongestants are available over the counter and are often used with antihistamines. They constrict blood vessels to reduce buildup of secretions. They can be in the form of a nasal spray, tablets, or liquids. Nasal spray decongestants include oxymetazoline or afrin and phenylephrine or neosinephrine. These may cause rebound congestion if used for more than a few days. Oral decongestants Actifed, Sudafed, and others can raise blood pressure, so are best avoided by people with hypertension. Another side effect of oral decongestants is worsening of pre-existing prostate enlargement. Chromalin sodium. Chromalin sodium is available over the counter as a nasal spray or nasal chrome and prevents the release of histamine to counter allergic rhinitis symptoms. It is not known to have any serious side effects but is best used several times a day before the onset of symptoms. Leukotriene modifier. Montelukast, or Singular, blocks the action of leukotrienes, immune system chemicals which cause symptoms such as excess mucus production. It comes in tablet form and is available on prescription. It can treat both asthma and allergic rhinitis. It can cause side effects such as headache and less frequently, abdominal pain. Nasal atropine. Ipertropium bromide, or atrovent, can relieve a severe stuffy nose by preventing the nasal glands from producing too much fluid. It is available as a prescription nasal spray. Immunotherapy. Your doctor might recommend allergy shots, desensitization therapy, or immunotherapy, if traditional allergic rhinitis medications are not successful for you. Allergy shots involve regular injections containing purified allergen extracts 
over the course of several years. This gradually desensitizes you to certain allergens, which reduce your symptoms. After successful immunotherapy, you will need less, if any, allergic rhinitis medications. If your allergens include dust mites, tree, grass, or weed pollen, or cat dander, immunotherapy might be very effective. Immunotherapy in children can help prevent asthma developing from the hay fever. An infrequent side effect can be anaphylaxis, a serious allergic reaction that is life-threatening.